In this video, we're going to take a look at the various options you have when attaching files to email messages. Now we're going to start with a blank email message form in front of us, and I'm going to click on the Attach File button. Now when I do this, WorldDocs will be activated. If I want to attach a, an individual document, it's simply a matter of double-clicking on the file once I've located it. Now at this point, I have three options. Your top choice you would use any time you're going to attach a file and send it to someone outside your firm. Your second choice can be used only internally. Now, people will receive a shortcut to the file within the WorldDoc system. The third choice would be used when you have multiple files being sent to the same person and rather than clogging up the attachment area of the email message, they will receive they will receive a zipped file shortcut and they'll simply double click on that shortcut and they will see the entire listing of all of the files that you've attached. I'm going to start by first attaching a full copy of the file. Now when I make this choice you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen I have the option of making the attachment appear with the document ID which would be the WorldDocs document number rather than the long descriptive name for the document. You also see you have the ability to set that as your default choice every time you attach a file. I'm going to continue and attach this with the document description. And you see the file is attached. We see the document description, the document number, and then the file extension on the end. I'm now going to go back in and attach that same file, only this time I will make the choice to attach this in a WorldDocs file list. Now the name that gets attached in the email message is what we see down here in this lower portion of the form. So one thing that I do suggest to make it a little easier for the recipient to understand what you're sending is type in a descriptive name. Something that they'll understand. Click on OK. And the WorldDocs file list appears. You see it has an extension of WDL on the end. Now we'll look at what happens when we want to attach multiple files. To an email message. You'll select the files after searching for them over on the left hand side. Just check off the box next to each of the, the files that you'd like to attach. And now what you have to do is go to the upper left hand corner of the toolbar and click on the file open button. Okay, The four that are checked, continue. I'm going to send full copies of the files. Click on OK. I'm going to send this email on its way. So now when the email is received, these attachments you open by simply double clicking on them. The World Docs file list, alarm letter .wdl, you double click on it, click on open, and the document opens immediately in Microsoft Word. Finally, let's take a look at what happens when we need to attach multiple files using the zip option. Create a new email message, address it, click on the attach file button, okay, and I'm going to attach all of these files. Click on the file open button in the upper left hand corner, the 19 compressed into a single zip file. Click on the OK button. If you want to password protect the zip file, enter a password at this point. Otherwise, leave it blank. Click OK. And the zip file is attached. Now I will send it so that we can see what happens on the receiver's end. When the email is received, the receiver will double click they will see the attached zip file. They'll double click on the attachment, open, and then you see all of the files ready to be extracted and opened on the receiver system. That will conclude the video on attaching files to email messages.